In all my years of owning a Quest and its multitude of software updates, there's one thing that has stayed consistent but sadly outdated, and that was the Home UI and App Launcher. But starting today, there's an all new way to navigate on Horizon OS, and it might possibly be the biggest update the platform has seen yet. Let's get into it right now. Yo, 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 it's your boy Jay Dunn, and welcome back to Getting Things Done. We motivate you, motivate you to get things done through faith and relevant technology. Man, does it feel good to say that again. Listen, y'all, I'm so excited. I know we haven't been posting a ton of long form content. We have been working behind the scenes on some cool stuff that we're going to be sharing very, very soon. But I had to come and talk about the all new Navigator update. First of all, for you to understand why there's so much excitement around this new feature, I want to show you first how the old OS used to function with the UI, with the launcher, and how everything looks like it's been looking since I bought the Quest 2 back in 2020. And now, what you're about to see as we jump into headset is the all new Navigator UI, and you're gonna understand why I'm so excited and why I believe this is really just the beginning. Let's jump in now. All right, so we are now inside of the headset and I'm so excited to finally show off the Navigator. That's right, you just simply hit the MetaQuest button on your controller or your right controller just once and it brings up the actual Navigator UI. Look at this gorgeousness. Just take it all in. It's not taking up, you know, the whole window. It's like a little space that kind of brought into your virtual space. Or let's see how it looks in pass through as well. Look at how this thing looks in pass through. I'm loving it. So to see my room, and then I can bring up my menu. And I'm gonna show you this other piece because you might say, well, that doesn't look like the navigator. But with a double press of your MetaQuest button, you can actually bring up windows or hide them depending on what you're doing. And as well, just one click of the MetaQuest button brings in the navigator. That's right. We're going to go back into the virtual space and show you what I'm talking about one more time because this is kind of what the UI has always kind of looked like. No, we don't want that anymore. What we want after I double click here is we want the navigator. We can quickly jump into our apps. You have your apps, world, horizon plus content, unknown sources, downloads, etc. It's all there. Beautiful, quick, and easy UI buttons to get to your notifications here, to get to your quick settings, to check into your account as well. And what I love about this, even though I have the same style windows I'm used to, I love that I can also switch between my applications right here and with a, just a double click of the MetaQuest button, I can get rid of those and get back into my virtual space order application. I mean, and we'll test that out in just a second, but I mean, look at this guys. The navigator is right here. Get back to my library, scroll through my applications just so much quicker. And look at this, we got pinned applications. So I can pin apps to the top of this, uh, of my list here. So I don't have to keep scrolling for my favorite. So let's just say I want to specifically jump in to power wash i'm gonna go ahead and pin that and now at the very top i'm gonna see all my pin applications of course i got horizon world effect let's go ahead and jump into horizon so i can show you how this window management piece works with the new navigator watch one click of the metal button i've still got my navigator the app is still loading in the background so i'm not being taken away uh from what it is that i'm doing but i can still bring up the navigator at any time and i love that but that's not all i can do watch this i can also double click my meta quest button and still bring up my menu have my three windows up here and with a click of the button turn them off click a button turn them back on exactly where they are so when i'm not needing to see them i can double click get back into my game doing what I'm doing and then when I'm done bring them back up and they're gonna show right back up where we want to be this is absolutely incredible and what I love it's a quicker way to quit out of the application I'm in to get back into the virtual space I want to be so another feature I want to touch on is how media controls work while you're in the navigator system, which I actually really, really love. So what I want to show you now, I have some music playing on YouTube. And of course, I can double click the MetaQuest button to get rid of my windows. And notice I have a little play button, pause button, rewind button right here. But when I go into the navigator and let's say I'm about to switch into one of my other apps, you notice that the UI switches it to a little mini player down there that I can just 
activate or click on whenever I want. And when I do, I can bring it up the small menu or I can double click the meta quest button to bring up my media settings. Isn't that just incredible? Freaking love it. And I think it's something that's a hidden gem on the quest. And uh, yeah. You guys need to check this out. And what I love about the navigator system is it's actually built into the hand tracking mode as well. So I could be in my virtual space and to bring it up, I could just simply click it like this and boom, I have navigator in my area to get to my quick acts, to get to my quick settings and do everything I need to do. And if I click the button, it goes away. Well, there you have it, folks. That is the Navigator system, and I'm so excited that it's finally rolling out. This is something that was showed off at MetaConnect 2024, and the, the type of experiences that this is going to unlock is just so exciting. I believe this is only just the beginning of the Navigator system, and I'm definitely going along for the ride. You know what else you should continue to ride with? You know what else you should continue to support? Hmm? Hmm? This channel? So why don't you subscribe? Why don't you hit the thumbs up? Why don't you comment kind of below? Let us know how much you enjoyed this content. And hitting that bell notification so you can know the next time video comes. Because I promise you, we got a lot more content coming real soon. It's your boy Jay Dunn. And I'll see you next time. Peace.